welcome to your health. My name is Robin High, and I'm a registered dietitian with Pitt County Health Department. And I'm Beth Wall Bassett, registered dietitian at the Department of Nutrition and Dietetics at East Carolina University. Hi, I'm Susan Reese, the Family and Consumer Science Agent for the North Carolina Cooperative Extension here in Pitt County. Today our topic is boning up on calcium. Susan today is going to talk about some different tips and benefits of including calcium throughout your day and she's also going to show us a yummy mango smoothie recipe. So why should we be concerned about our calcium level intakes? Well as we age our calcium levels vary within our body. When you're a newborn your calcium level is small. When you're 10 years old, it increases as it drastically increases when you're 15 and it comes to a high when you're an adult. But automatically when you are a senior, your calcium level drops. If you don't get enough calcium, say when you are 15, then you don't have enough calcium when you become a senior and that presents a problem. Calcium is important. It promotes strong bones and teeth. In fact, is most of the calcium in your body is found in your bones and teeth. It plays an important role in the constriction and relaxation of blood vessels, and it facilitates the transmission of nerve impulses. It facilitates muscle constriction, and it aids in the secretion of hormones such as insulin. Calcium prevents osteoporosis. In fact, research has shown that women who get their calcium from food have a higher bone density than women who get their calcium from supplements. If you're lactose intolerant, consider consuming buttermilk, aged cheeses, or lactate milk, calcium fortified soy milk, or lactose reducing enzyme tablets. Today, we're featuring a simple mango smoothie. In the mango smoothie we have honey or you could use sugar, skim milk, frozen mango, and in purchasing your mango don't look for color. You can see this is green, red, yellow, but what you want to look for is fragrance, um, at the stem and you want to look for softness. If it's just barely soft like a peach, it's ripe. To make our smoothie, we're going to add a teaspoon of honey. Into the blender. the frozen mango put your milk at eye level to make sure that it's two-thirds cup pour that in and blend and it's ready just this makes one serving And you may want to top it off with a shake of cinnamon. And a kid's tip, you may want to sprinkle grape nuts or granola and you're out the door. For more information and recipes, please contact our website.